Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today, not only am I going to be doing a hair tutorial, but I'm going to be testing out for the first time this T3 Cura hair dryer. If any of you watched my Nordstrom anniversary sale video, I asked for your feedback on what you thought I should buy. Now, there was kind of a split group. There was a good amount of people that voted for this hair dryer, and then there was a good amount that voted for a multitude of other things. So I decided to place two orders, one with the multitude of things to use my budget that I had allotted, and then because I have a wedding anniversary coming up in September, I asked my husband if he might want to buy me this hair dryer for our anniversary. He said, is that what you want? I said, yeah. So I shopped the Nordstrom anniversary sale for my anniversary gift, but I have only opened this box. I have not given it a try, so we're gonna do that together today. All right, so on the back of this box, there's a lot of detail about how amazing this dryer is, but I think we just need to cut to the chase. So let's open this up, let's give it a try. It has digital ion air, which is supposed to help reduce frizz and it's supposed to help dry faster, so therefore reducing damage to your hair. There's a nice little packet inside. Um, and then I'll show you, isn't it beautiful? This is the white and rose gold version. There's a black and rose gold one, I think. There's two airflow concentrators and you can see the difference. Online it was hard to tell, but this one is supposed to be the drying concentrator and this one the styling one. So this one's going to be obviously a lot more precise with where the air is flowing to. And now the dryer, let me pull this out. Okay, so here is the dryer. And it is, the dryer itself is remarkably lightweight. And compared to my Jinri one that I have been using, you can see it's slightly shorter and it's just kind of all the same length around. It doesn't have that kind of larger space right here and then narrows. So a nice sleek design. Now the cord is huge and it's actually quite thick. So that's a good thing. It means it's gonna stay um, hopefully sturdy, add to the longevity, and it is a super long cord. Now it does have a cold shot button, which we'll use today, test that out. Has three heat settings, very nice. And then this is the, I guess there's two fan settings and then the on off switch. And it looks like we're gonna get some lights to kind of tell us what setting we're on. What I like about this is the um, buttons are inset. So many times as I'm blow drying with my other, I'll accidentally flip it, you know, to change the heat just because it's on the outside, but these are inlaid, so they're inset. So there's a lot less chance of you accidentally changing the temperature or the fan speed. So. All right, now before we can actually test out the hair dryer, we've got to get our hair prepped and ready to go. So I'm just gonna roughly comb through. I'm gonna add the catwalk root boost just a little bit here at the crown, the typical place that I need just a little extra lift. And hmm, I think we're gonna do opposite part today. So I'm gonna add a little bit here on the right side. So normally I style my hair to go over this way. We're gonna go this way today and then I'm going to add a little bit of argon oil. This is a different brand than I normally use. This is the 100% pure. Had a, they had a sale one time, so I picked up a bottle and I'm just going to use one pump of that. And this just adds extra shine. And then I feel like I just need a little extra conditioner, so I'm going to use the Redken 25 Benefits One United. And just a couple squirts through. All right, let's tame this hair. So I think I'm gonna start off with the initial drying concentrator and it does. It looks like, okay, so there are grooves here and then there are grooves all along the inside here. I don't know if you can see that. So, okay, so it took quite a firm press in um, and then you can hear it kind of click around um, and then it will actually click in place and stay. So that also is nice because then it won't be floating around and you have to keep redirecting. All right, 
let's get this going. So I'm gonna start on high heat and high fan speed. left me with a tad more shine than typical and it does feel and look a little bit smoother so the anti-frizz I'm kind of seeing a little bit of that um, and the good news this concentrator was not super hot like they can tend to be when you get done blow drying um, I did find it a little hard to keep the cold shot button pressed because you do have to give it a good a good hold otherwise it's not very loud so um, I know I need that out for you, but as far as the motor noise, it's not super loud. So it is quite soft for how powerful the motor is. All right, so I will continue using that and testing it out. I'll read all the directions and I'll come back with a full review on that. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and finish styling our hair. So um, I've got the hair going over this direction. I always have a few random flyaways people ask me if i have straight or curly hair well these hairs right here would say i have some curls but they're just very random so i'm going to take my flat iron and as as i go through i'm actually going to twist this this direction so i'm going to take the flat iron and go that way and then take the next piece do that as well and then once I get here, just gonna pull this down. And then these sections, whenever I do my hair over to the opposite side, I feel like I need a little extra help because the hair is kind of wondering what I'm trying to do. It's not trained to go to this side. So I usually feel like I have to give it a little extra help with the flat iron and styling products. All right, and then we're gonna try and kind of keep this flat, or this back part not too spiky, but uh, we'll add some texture. On this side, I'm going to just add a little bit of a lift here. And then same right here along the part, we're going to just kind of pull the flat iron through just to kind of give it a little lift there. And if you get any hairs like this that just aren't sure what they're supposed to do, <laughs> I'll just try and see if we can make them obey with our flat iron. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this back section right here. You can see how it kind of flattens right here. So I'm gonna take the flat iron. I'm not sure I can do this without looking, but we're gonna try. And I'm going to use the flat iron and pull up and out. Okay, so I have a couple of 
crazies right here that just aren't sure what they're gonna do. So we'll <laughs> put some Enjoy Dry Wax on there and try and fix them. So I'm going to take, um, I'm gonna try to take a little less than normal. So I'm just kind of running my fingers over. Um, again, it's been super hot here, so it's not too hard, but you can see I don't have a ton of product to start. I'm gonna work that through my tops of my fingers here. And I'm going to then just kind of pull this up, scrub the Enjoy Dry Wax there, and then and we'll work the hair over this way. And I apologize for the loud air conditioner. It's right outside my window. And being that it's a warm day, it keeps kicking on. So I'll be here for two hours if I stop filming every time it kicks on. So hopefully you can bear with it here. We're almost done. All right, now I'm gonna work that a little more Enjoy Dry Wax through the back here. And then I'm just going to piece some sections. So nothing precise. I just grab a piece and kind of fluff it up like that. Nothing to it. Um, and then on this side, through the back, just gonna kind of keep working my way around. And don't worry if it looks a little full and crazy at the moment, we'll fix everything with our hairspray. Right. So I've been fighting with this right here. I don't know if your hair ever has those days where it just says, you know what, I don't care what you wanna do, I'm not gonna do it. So what I'm gonna do is just take a little bit more of that wax and I'm actually just pulling it down this direction, okay? And then this part, we're gonna just add a little more texture here. And so it will just not be as blunt of a, or as strong of a part here. It'll just be a little staggered. And then these random pieces, I'm gonna take my flat iron and just pull through a couple of these in this direction. Okay, now for some final shaping, I'm gonna use the Aussie Instant Freeze Hairspray. And just short bursts as I go around the head. And what I like to do at the over, uh, the undercut part, <laughs> I just like to kind of rake my fingers through and it kind of just helps break that up a little bit. Okay, and then on this side, I just took a few more hairs from this side going over and I pulled them over this way and I'm just gonna kind of twist those here. And then I'm pulling this down a little bit. All right, so here's our finished hair look. So by pulling those hairs kind of back over this part and kind of flattening down the back, it kind of gave me just a slightly flatter look, but something a little different that I actually like. So if your hair isn't behaving on a particular day, just go with it and see what happens. You might actually like the results. So I hope that you enjoyed not only seeing this hair tutorial, but also seeing my new T3 in action. I will definitely be continuing to use that and let you know my thoughts on it because anytime you're spending that kind of money, you really want to know if it's worth it. So be sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye.